And then in the next poll over, we have pink at four. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. And then we have a green with one. So I, I think I should have did this layout when I did my earrings because I kind of stressed a lot of people out and a lot of people hated me. So hopefully this one, a lot of people don't get pissed. <laughs> so. And then we have one at blue. So that's where we're standing um, with the, the pole. Uh, I'm going to wash this out and hopefully the purple does not cling to my hair. But I do need to do a... Uh, today is hair washing, but so yeah, that's where it all stands. Um, I'll come back after the um, first shower and purple's out, and I'll show you guys what that looks like once it is dried. So I guess I'll see you guys then, and I'll give you an update at what the poll is in like an hour or two. So see you guys then. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after the uh, purple shampoo wash. And it's actually funny, in this light, it actually looks like I have like, again, platinum blonde hair, which is kind of shocking. But in real light, it, there is still some greenish pigment in here. So... Um, I might do one more, it might be another week before I do, uh, do the whole color transformation, so, um, yeah, so I still have some green in my hair, not a lot, and then the purple, uh, took to the blue-ish, I'm gonna zoom in quickly to, to give you guys the close-up. Here is the close-up. Um, as you guys can see, there is like a greenish cast. So, I still have this good chunk of blue up here, which I know, shockingly, it actually got a bit brighter. It was a bit duller before. And then, and then over, over here, I have some purple end bits. So, I think it's going to be another... Just so I think it's gonna be another another week before I um do any uh hair change. As I said, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that much hair changes uh this week, so that means next week might be a color change. Uh and I didn't even say beforehand uh the Hair that I did the purple shampoo on was a two, almost a two day old hair, so there was a bit of grease in there. And I didn't shampoo, I only did a, uh, the purple shampoo or conditioner at this point, uh, washout, uh, for the green, and then I just did a long. Uh, conditioning in my hair so I didn't shampoo anyhow so this blue might fade even more we'll see but so far the two colors that are in the runnings and so far it's six for purple then we have two for red and then one for orange and the other one we have five for pink two for green one for blue, so it's going to be a toss between pink and purple, so this light, I mean it, come on, there you go, so it looked uh, a little funky, let's just, let's just put it that way, it's going to look a little weird, um, and the purple, I have like, two or three different purples, so if it goes that way, it's kind of, um, a guessing, but with the pink, I am gonna squeeze in, um, 
some like red to tone back the brightness of the pink but it's still gonna be pretty much uh pink so i guess i'll see you guys in about a week or so oh and i didn't even mention today is april 17th i hope you guys are safe quarantining at this point i hope it's all over and i hope we can get back to our lives um Hello YouTube, Ashpika17, back with another hair diary dye video, whatever you want, guys want to call it. So in the last, one sec, let's get the glove on first. Okay, in the last uh, episode, we did the um, purple shampoo, um, conditioner, home mix, whatever, bleach, whatever, whatever, whatever. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I got in contact again with my um, good friend that is a uh, hairstylist, not licensed, but whatever. I, I trust her, believe her. Not the best shirt to do this in, but whatever. So, um, when I first was going to do this, I was actually going to uh, dilute some 10 volume uh developer down to like a five but my friend said you probably shouldn't do that one because uh you don't know what's going to come out of it and that is so true and two uh, i'm just bleaching my hair one maybe try to get the roots a little bit but two to try to get rid of this uh blue cast before i dye it it seems like it's going to be purple. I did another recast of the two colors and the two colors came out to purple and pink. So, so far purple's winning uh, 16 and there's only one cast for pink. So, I'm happy I don't need to be scared as much anymore. Um, but for almost all the purple, only two of my friends out of that 16 that voted uh, said purple and I don't know who the other ones are at all. So they just follow me. But the majority of my friends said pink and they didn't cast their vote. So I don't know what that really means. But whatever. I think it's going to be purple. So we have... Um, for the dye, we have the Sugar Plum. We have the Sugar Plum Purple by Sparks. And then we have the Enraged Purple. And then we have the Arctic Fox Purple. I think it's called Ritual, I think. So I'm going to throw up another poll if it becomes purple. Because you shouldn't really color when you bleach. So... I'm going to bleach, um, condition my hair, because then I'm going to be working out later, so I'm going to have to re-wash my hair. I probably won't put as much shampoo, and I'll do like a light conditioner in. So, so it's going to be getting rid of the rest of the sugar plum, because there's not really much left, and I just need 0.5, because this long hair... Is somewhere around the range of three ounces of product now, so it's gonna be that. Um, and then if it's if they do the enrage, I need to do some quick math to try to figure out because that needs conditioner in it. And then, but if it's the ritual, I don't need to put any conditioner in because conditioners are built into the Arctic Fox stuff. So. Let's get on with this hair bleaching. As I said, I was going to do a, um, like a DIY, um, five developer. If I didn't need to take out this blue, this blue cast going on, I would have did it. But also, I have this guy Tang, um, six fine developer, but... I might go back to his product, or I'm going to use this 
um, with if I go to another permanent color uh, to see how it uh, turns out from there because that permanent color for some odd reason did not stay in as long as it did. That mean permanent actually lasted a lot longer. I think with permanent you kind of have to do it with foils and I'm not a foil person. And as you see I'm not a brush person either. Um, doing my friend's hairs a couple times I kind of seen the good part of using a brush but I still say hands are the best tool. And sorry if I'm looking that way my um, preview screen is over here. And usually it's on this one. So, and this bowl is kind of a shim shim stuff. I'll give you the base what I put in here, but then I kind of went a little chaotic. Uh, and here is one, 1. 1.5 of bleach and developer, and one ounce of clarifying shampoo, and then a little bit more of a squeeze, and then. It was way, it was like plaster consistency. It was way, way too plastery. And then I put in some conditioner and that really didn't work. So then I just added a splash more of developer. I would say maybe 0.5 ounces of more of the 10. And it's like that. And like, I could turn like this and it slowly like turns. It's just like the blizzard ice cream. <laughs> I think you know it's ready. <laughs> um, so it's a shim shim of stuff, so I'm gonna throw it in. I'm not really gonna try to get my roots because I wanna grow out my roots, but even if it hits it, not a big deal. Um, but this time I'm only gonna leave it on for about 30 minutes because I don't want to fry any more of my hair off since I'm trying to get my hair back to health. So let's put this in. Then 30, did I say seconds? I meant minutes. 30 minutes of uh, wait time. So let's start. And this is probably not a good shirt because this is a Pokemon shirt and it's uh, a good one. So, but the way I mix it, it's like very thick, so it never really fall. And you, okay, I think I already, I think I already talked about this. Whenever you bleach your hair, you want to cake on the bleach. You want to have a mask on your head to bleach. I've seen so many videos, and I've seen so many reaction videos of people not putting enough on, and they're always getting like really spotty color, not good color. A bunch of stuff, so just cake that shit on, <laughs> and that's why I upgraded the amount of product that I'm putting on my hair because I know around two ounces of uh, product would not like fully saturate my hair. So let's go in. Okay, there's probably a bit more bleach than there has to then, but I think it was all the me adding more stuff in, kind of, um, kind of bulked it up, so. Remember when I said that this was a consistency and I want to drip? I dripped two times, and it landed on my pants, so now these pants are 
at least a pajama and not like work pants. So 